Hey guys, Mike Mouse 74 with another TFCon video review, and this time we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Weaponizer Bumblebee, another pretty cool looking figure. Up at the top here it says four modes, weapon spin into action, and lights. And of course you got the try me button in the center of the box, you just push the switch up, and you get that, the weapon spin into action, very cool. Alongside the box you get Bumblebee in all four modes, we have the Robot Scout mode, the Weaponized Robot mode, Come down at the bottom. We have the high speed sports car mode and the weaponized sports car mode. Take a quick look at the back. Up at the top, you have Bumblebee in his awesome looking weaponized robot mode, blaster pistol included, weapons spin in action, and glowing power up lights. Down at the bottom, you have Bumblebee in his weaponized sports car mode and weapons deploy in robot or vehicle mode. The other side of the box. You get the uh, technical data of Bumblebee down the bottom, and up at the top you get a brief bio of what he's about. Even when the Decepticons think they've got him nailed, Bumblebee always has a nasty surprise in store. Over the years he's perfected the art of surprise attack and installed several power weapons designed just to catch his enemy unaware. So let's get Bumblebee out of the box and see what he's all about. Alright, so here we have Weaponizer Bumblebee out of the box and in high speed sports car mode, looking very cool, it's such an awesome looking figure, really glad that I picked this guy up. He does come with this blaster pistol, some molded detail on top which is always a plus. To plug that in, there's a small peggle on the back of the bumper right here, and you take the blaster pistol and you plug it in just like so, and there you have it, it looks pretty cool. To show off the weaponized sports car mode, you want to press on the on the hood of the vehicle like that, and you get the Gatling guns that come out. How cool is that? To put them back in, there's a small peg right there, and you just want to bring back the peg like that, and they go right back in. So let's take a good look at uh, weaponizer Bumblebee in 360 Might Mouse 74 style, and I'll show you some of the detailing as well. So let's take a quick look at the top of the vehicle first. He does have some black racing stripes on the hood of the vehicle that go all the way up to the windshield. He has some black racing stripes on the roof that go almost all the way back to the back of the window and some more black racing stripes all on the back of the vehicle right there so that's pretty cool. I just wanted to show this off to you guys real quick because I think it looks pretty cool. If you guys look on the hood of the vehicle he has two Autobot logos. How cool is that? One right there and one molded Autobot logo right there. I thought it looks pretty cool. Gives it a really, really nice touch. So we're now looking at the front of the vehicle. He does have some black detailing for the grill right there. Some more black detailing for the lights underneath here and right there as well. And on one side he has some black detailing right here and on the other side right there some more black detailing on the other side. And for the lights here and right there, it's, it's, it's a very light translucent color so that's pretty cool. So here's one side of Bumblebee and uh, all there is for detailing is the black racing stripe that go all the way from here and just above the wheel well. Uh, some yellow detailing for the uh, door handle right there and blue detailing for the, for the uh, back window so that's alright. So for detailing on the back you get the blue window on the back window along here so that's pretty cool. And on the back light you get the orange detailing for the back lights here and there. And you get some yellow detailing for the exhaust here and right there as well. And you have some yellow detailing for the license plate, but it's not really painted. I wish he would have painted that way just to give it a little extra more detailing, but that's all right. And on the other side of Bumblebee, you have some more uh, black detailing for the raking stripes that goes from one side to the other side of the door and just above the wheel. And you have a little bit of yellow detailing for the door handle, so that's all right. Just to give you guys a quick size comparison, here is Weaponizer Bumblebee alongside with Transformers 3 Dark of the Moon Leader Class Bumblebee. For another quick comparison, Weaponizer Bumblebee with Transformers Prime First Edition Deluxe Class Bumblebee. And you know what? They would almost be a spitting image with each other if the racing stripes on Weaponizer Bumblebee would be out more. Or on the First Edition Deluxe, the racing stripes would be, would be in more. Other than that, everything else seems to be the same. There you have it. So now let's go ahead and put Bumblebee in his awesome looking robot mode. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open, this, open the side doors first. On both sides. And then on the top, you just want to kind of just get this out from here, just un untap from the back, and just kind of get this up, just like that, and like so. Next, you want to come to the back of the vehicle and just separate at the back. I can do this. 
just like so. And then you want to come and actually you want to bring this all the way out like so to, to the front. Do the same thing with this side. Bring this all the way to the, the front of the vehicle. And then there's there's a tab right where my finger is and there's a, a, there's a, a peg hole right there. You want to bring this tab together. I can show you. Just like that. Do the same thing on the other side. There's a tab right here and a hole on the wheel. You just want to tab those things together just like like so. And then you want to bring the arms back. Whoops, sorry with that. You just want to bring the arms down, kind of get them out of the way for now. Next, what you want to do, you want to take the bottom half, and there's two, if you guys can see, let me just move my camera up a little bit. There's two pegs here, one right there, and there's two holes on the bottom of the vehicle, one right there, and one right there. You want to put these pegs in these holes right there. So that's, that's pretty much what you want to do for that. And if I can show you, it's a, it's a bonus. So just like that. And then for the legs, you want to bring this down like so. Bring that up so that uh, kind of clips into place. Do the same thing with the other, other leg. You want to bring the, the leg down like so. Bring that up like so and that kind of clips into place. And you pretty much have Bumblebee's legs done. Next, what you want to do, you want to bring these little bits down on the chest on both sides. Do the same thing on the other side. Bring these little bits down like so. And then for Bumblebee's head, you want to bring it back and put it up like so. And these cannons eventually will keep popping up, so don't get, uh, don't get too discouraged. Let me bring the, ca uh, the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Then the back half, this part here, you want to actually put it right through here and to do that I don't know if I can if I can show you so just like that and then let me just raise the camera up a little bit so you can see exactly what I'm doing and then bring this up like so and that kind of just stays in position so that's what you want to do and finally for the hands you want to take the hands and kind of lift that up like so and then bring this section all the way, lift all the way back like so. So you have one one hand up Bumblebee, put the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Same thing with the other side, bring this hand up and then this part here, bring that all the way up like that. And there you have Bumblebee in his awesome looking robot mode. Really, really such a cool looking figure. I can't stress it enough, really, really awesome. One thing that I forgot to show you that I've seen some other reviewers do this. You can take the blaster pistol and there's a hole right there. And I guess you can plug it in in the hole and it stays actually pretty good. So it doesn't look all that bad. If you don't like it there, then you can actually make him hold his um, blaster pistol and put it in, put it in this hand. If I can do this, put it in there just like like that. And to show off the, the weaponized mode, you just press on the head. Let me just move the camera up a little bit. You want to press on the head and the weapons de deploy. So that's pretty cool to put them back in. You just press down on the chest piece right here and they fold right back in. One more time, you press down on the head and to get the, the, uh, the weapon spin into action and then to put them back up, you can either use this or that there. So that's pretty cool. So now I'll give you guys a close-up of Weaponizer Bumblebee in his awesome looking robot mode. So let's take a close-up look of Weaponizer Bumblebee in his awesome looking robot mode and uh, I'll give you some details as well as we kind of move along. So you can see around the feet area, there's some little bit of gray detailing around there. If you come up a little higher on the knees, you see some uh, black detailing on the knees right there and on the other side right there as well. And we come up just a little higher in the abdominal region and in the inner thigh. You have some black detailing around in here 
and some black detailing in the inner thigh right there and right there as well so that's pretty cool and then we come up to the to the chest area of weaponizer bumblebee you have some uh, black detailing again like I said in, in the vehicle mode you have some black detailing for the lights right there and right there some uh, black detailing right there for the uh, for the grill so that's pretty cool really awesome looking figure very very cool Here's a close shot of Weaponizer's Bumblebee's head. The silver detailing around the eyes and the mouth and the center of the forehead is just freaking awesome. I love it. Very cool. So let's take a look at Weaponizer Bumblebee 360 Might Mouse 74 style. So here is the front of Weaponizer Bumblebee. Here is one side of Weaponizer Bumblebee. Here is the back view of Weaponizer Bumblebee. And the other side of Weaponizer Bumblebee. And back to the front of Weaponizer Bumblebee. For a size comparison in robot mode, here is Weaponizer Bumblebee with Transformers 3 Dark of the Moon Leader Class Bumblebee. So I just want to give you guys a quick size comparison in robot mode between the two figures. For another quick comparison, here is Weaponizer Bumblebee and Transformers Prime First Edition Deluxe Class Bumblebee. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick comparison between the two figures in robot mode. They almost look exactly like but not quite. So let's take one last close up of Weaponizer Bumblebee in his awesome looking robot mode and then I guess I can show you how to put him back into his high speed sports car mode. Really awesome looking figure. I'm really glad I picked this guy up. So now let's go ahead and put him back into his high speed sports car mode. So to go ahead and put Bumblebee in his vehicle mode, what you want to do is you want to come to the, the hands and move this like so. And just make sure the hands are, are uh, tabbed into place like that. Do the same thing with the other side. Bring this part out like this. Tuck in the hand like that. And then you want to come down to the legs. You want to push the, the leg up like so. Do the same thing with the other side. Bring this other foot up like so. And just kind of bring these together. Just like that. Next, what you want to do is lift these up like so. Do the same thing on this side. Lift that up. And then the bottom half, you just want to unpeg I can do this here like so, unpeg like that <laughs> and then of course these will come up and then you want to bring this back like so kind of get this out of the way and then you want to take Bumblebee's head and put it right in this slot here just just like that next what you want to do you want to unpeg the arms like so kind of get this like that and then you want to kind of bring this all the way back like so do the same thing on the other side you want to unpeg 
the arms like so and then kind of straighten everything all out. And then you want to come to the back. And this may be a little bit tricky, but you want to peg these two together. It might be a little bit of a, it's a little bit tricky to do. So I'm going to do this off camera and I'll show you what I did. So basically what I did, I just tabbed the back half together. It was a little bit uh, a little bit tricky for me to do, so that's why I did it off camera. I didn't want to take too much time. Next, what you want to do is you want to come to the front half and you want to pull this section out like so. And right now you're just basically just tabbing everything back together, back into his vehicle mode. And then bring this down like so. And you want to come to the back and just tap that in here. Just like that. And then all you want to do is just fold the doors in and make sure the doors are all tabbed in nice and secure. Do the same thing on the other side, just make sure the doors are nice and tight and closed. And then you want to take the the, uh, the blaster pistol and you plug it in on the back like so. So that's pretty much how you want weaponize your bumblebee back into his vehicle mode. So here's a final look of a weaponizer bumblebee back into his high speed sports car mode. This is basically how you want to look. Just make sure everything's tabbed in really, really nice. And then the back as well, just make sure the back's tabbed in nice. So that's how you want him to look when he's back into his high-speed sports car mode. So this is Mike Mouse 74 with my video review of Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Weaponizer Bumblebee. Pick him up, awesome looking figure. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Support the mouse, support your Transformers community. Stay tuned for more reviews and much, much more. Till then, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you haven't checked out my new channel, Mike Mouse 74 Reviews, please do. I'll leave the link in the description bar down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Coming up next, I want to get into a few of the Transformers Prime Cyberverse figures. We're going to be taking a look at Mirage, Evac, and Soundwave. And then after the Cyberverse figures are done, we're going to get right into the Hercules figures. Stay tuned, everybody. Hercules.